So I had four goals this month. Um, three of them were language goals and one was a juggling goal. And the juggling goal was to juggle four balls. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to be realistic about this. Um, I've just, I've been practicing and practicing and I don't think I'm ready to move on to four balls yet. Um, so I need to do more different things with three balls and then um, I can get more sort of developed in my juggling. So that's fine, it doesn't matter, because um, you know, it's not like I'm gonna be using it in my job or, or anything, it's just about personal development really and having goals to develop yourself and keep your mind active. The other thing um, is that I've been, I had three other goals which were language learning goals and in those goals, um, I've managed to complete the Polish one, so I've made a video of five minutes, that was my goal. And my Polish has really come on this month, so I'm quite pleased with that. Um, the other two languages, Chinese and Kurdish, the, the Chinese, my level was already not too bad. Um, I don't think I'm going to make a five minute video because I've made loads of videos before in Chinese and um, it's just for myself really to sort of see my own progress and um, I think what I'm going to do is just carry on with my lessons that I've been having in Chinese those have been quite good and they've been sort of conversational so they've been less about um, structured learning but now we're going to move on to do some topics and you know I'm probably going to go back to doing more writing in Chinese which is great um, Kurdish I've found very very difficult I just can't crack into it. Um, I have got a teacher now, so I've had about five or six lessons with him, and I just can't get my head around the grammar. So I think what I need to do is keep keep on with it, and just try to, um, you know, it, it will come eventually. Uh, it's just a matter of time, of time really. So I'm not gonna make a five minute video about Kurdish because I won't have enough to say. Um, and I think what I need to do is just cram a few vocabulary and verbs and um, don't worry about the grammar yet just go back to that when um, when I've got some a bit more under my belt you know um, if you know what I mean so what are my goals for next month well I don't know I might have to go back to work soon I'm just waiting to hear um, who knows what I'll be, when I have to go back and um, I've decided that because I'm such a language tart, in other words, like I just go from one language to another, um, I've abandoned languages in the past that I were I was better at, and you know now I'm struggling back with those. So each month for the rest of this year, I'm going to use as a maintaining a language month. So my month next month, uh, my language for next month is going to be Arabic, and you might think, how is that going to help me with the other languages I'm learning? Well, Arabic is in, um, the Kurdish is, is written in a similar script to Arabic. So Kurdish has 34 letters, Arabic has 28. And I think the Arabic lessons are gonna help me uh, with my Kurdish. They're gonna help me sort of improve um, the reading skills. And I want to go on to learning Kurdish now with the Persian Arabic script, you know, or Kurdish script you might want to call it. Uh, because I think that's the way to go on because there are so many different well there aren't too many different learning materials in Kurdish but the ones that do exist are all um, quite different to each other in that the scripts sorry let me re-explain that all the Kurdish language materials that I've come across that are not in the Kurdish script have funny or different transcriptions to each other even my teacher transcribes the letters one way and another book transcribes it another way and even like language learning apps I've tried with uh, uTalk and with Bluebird 163 and there are mistakes in them so it's really difficult um, to find sort of reliable sources with this language and um, the other thing is that there are so many different dialects within Sarani so not only is Sarani different to Kermanji and the other variations of Kurdish. You can't really even call them dialects because they're completely different. So um, going forward next month I'm going to be learning Kurdish starting with the Kurdish script and um, I've already found an Arabic teacher. He's brilliant. I've chosen him over a 
there was so many to choose from and um, he just seemed to be the right one for me and we had a really good chat the other day and he got me reading some Arabic and um, he's kind of put me at sort of A1 level and he said um, by the end of June we'll get up to about A2. So that's my target for June, to get up to A2 in Arabic and start um, using that language again because I did learn Arabic quite a few years ago but never really used it. Um, so now's the time to do that and I'll carry on with Polish and Chinese in the background. Stay safe.